Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vortech, and welcome to a new game we're taking a first look at here on the channel today, Project Automata. It is a new kind of management sandbox game, and it is an early alpha release right now. The link to download it for free is down below. You guys can check this out for yourself if you want. Uh, I already did the tutorial, and we're just going to jump right into a new game, and I'll show you what it's all about. So we have our rather large map generated here, and basically what we're attempting to do is get all of these cities in perfect symbiosis. They all have things they need and things they produce, and we can manage each individual city to help each other out. They're going to conduct trade between, between one another, and it should be pretty fun. Uh, now, the tutorial was very simple. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of things I need to learn along the way, because that's literally all I've done. But uh, let's just take a look at our cities. I have it paused right here. Uh, we'll just kind of take a look. First one is London. I'm sure it looks so much like the London you all love and know. Uh, so here's the urgently wanted goods. They want books, magazines, wine, and dye. Their current surplus includes hops, cider, handbags, fish, and office furnitures. So, great. We already know they produce these things and they have a surplus of them. What I'm confused about still and what I don't quite understand that there, there's no factories producing these things currently. So, I mean, we have a lumber yard here and we can rent this building for ourselves or buy it outright. Uh, I'm not sure, I rented it in the tutorial. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in this case, but all they seem to have is a lumber yard and I'm not sure how they're getting uh, all of this. They don't seem to have, no, they don't have a fishing pier or anything like that. So they just have those things. If I go into Madrid, we can click and see what they need. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything in here that London has, and they currently have fabric, magazines, and brandy. Ah, magazines. If I recall rightly, London needs magazines. So right there, we already have some trade we can have these two conduct, and I'll get to that in a second. The third city we're dealing with is Rome, uh, and Rome needs plastic, bar barley whiskey, and books. Has juice, wool, hops, pies, and cakes, and coal. So, there's a lot for us to do right out of the gate. So, all of this, I'm looking at it and I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm like, I could just start having all these cities cross-trade, but I'd rather just take a step back and try to get London, for example, the things it needs without doing any trade at first. We have 25, what, 25 million dollars to, to play with here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to address the wine problem that London has. And in order to do that, all I'm gonna need to do is well, produce wine. So I can already see here, London doesn't have a farm anywhere near it. We're gonna need to build one and we're gonna need to have it farm grapes. So I'm gonna click farm and we can do a crop farm, a livestock farm, or an orchard. Uh, I'm guessing grapes being a fruit would grow in an orchard, but let's see how right or wrong I am. <laughs> you guys are gonna learn some hard lessons about Vortec here and how dumb I am. You already know. So we have our farm being built right now. I'm gonna speed up time here so that just gets it done. There it is, and we have an orchard. Now, if I click on the orchard, we can have it specialize in something. I'm gonna click this and see, ah, a vineyard. Vineyards have grapes. So, in order for the orchard to get its grapes, it's gonna need water. Okay, now we have to figure out how the heck to get the orchard some water. Those base resources all start here in the gatherer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for water siphon, but we can also do sand collector, oil drill, gas pump, iron mine, coal miner, lumber yard, and of course, fisherman pier. We need water, so I'm gonna take this, and it needs to be, I'm guessing, near a water source, and they all have a road they need to connect to the city to. Otherwise, they can't transport goods, obviously. So, now we have our water pump being built right there, and there we go, I'm gonna pause it again. So the water siphon is here, and it's gonna start producing water. Once I build a harvester, of course. Let's let's get that done. This is going to determine how much water production we can get out of this thing. Uh, now, I don't understand exactly how this is supposed to go. It must be built on the coast. Well, is this not the coast? I ended up moving the water siphon to a more sensible location, and now we have many places we can put a harvester. I'm going to put one right there, and there we go. That will harvest water once I hit play again, and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the roads now to avoid that little error message. So, right there, the roads are connected, and then we'll come out to, oops, here and here. 
and now the water can be transported to our orchard. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is first we're going to let it build. At, wow. <laughs> Forgot it was paused during that whole time. Build everything. And there's our truck. And we're going to have our siphon begin to give water to a destination. So select a destination. I'm going to choose the orchard farm. And there it goes. Water is being delivered to the orchard. It doesn't need to go anywhere else right now because that's the only thing we know needs water. And now that the orchard is getting water, I'm going to slow down time here a little bit. I'm going to go into here and we learned that water is required to produce the grapes. And we're going to need to add that field, which is something I forgot to do earlier. So why don't we put that right... There doesn't seem to be any road connections. So I'll put that here. And if I'm right, we should be growing grapes now in the orchard. And with the water coming in, all that should work. Now, once that's done, we're not done yet. Yes, there are more layers to this game in its very early stage, which is actually pretty fun. Uh, you can see how just helping London get one thing, how much work that takes. The next thing we're going to need to do is turn these grapes into wine. There's our first delivery of water going into the orchard, and we can now see that it's it has one water, it needs its vineyard, and it should start producing grapes unless I screwed up somewhere and this vineyard here isn't somehow connected to the orchard. Uh, so, assuming that's working, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step, which is a factory. And in this case, a brewery slash distillery. I'm in the negatives right now. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just looking at it wrong. That just means I'm not getting a profit from any of this, but we'll get there. So I'm going to put the distillery right below the orchard here. And we'll speed up time a little bit. There it is. And the distillery is going to specialize in wine. And in order to do that, it's going to need... Ooh, I didn't see this coming. It's going to need bottles, which makes sense, and grapes to produce wine. Okay, now we not... <laughs> not, how, not only do we need to feed this thing grapes, which is easy enough to do in, in here. Destination, select a destination. And we will do the brewery. There we go, distillery. They're going to start giving the grapes to the distillery, but the distillery needs bottles. If playing video games has taught me anything, I know that if you make sand really hot, it makes glass. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into Gatherer, and we need a sand collector. Coastline building used to collect sand. We're going to put this near the coastline until it goes green. So, that, right there. And we're going to have this thing hurry up and build. Da -da 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 -da. Watch the truck drive all over the grass to get there, and there it is. And we're going to have it build a sand harvester right in... Let's see, you can use R to rotate. So right here. There we go. And we're going to set this thing up with roads so it can actually start gathering the sand. So we'll put a road there and we'll see if we can... Yep, we can cut through those trees no problem. And now we have a sand factory. And I'm just doing that preemptively because I know our glass work and smelter is going to require sand to make bottles. So we'll put that right here. We'll let the trucks get to it real quick. Da -da -da -da. And what are we gonna have it specialize in? Bottles. Perfect, and all we need for that is glass. Wait, what? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to have it specialize in glass. So it needs sand for that. And, wait a minute. So what do you do if it needs two specializations? Are we going to have to put two glassworks places? Well, this could be something that we see develop better later in the game, but as far as I can tell, you can only make one thing. Uh, so this one will make glass. Oh, wow, this is getting expensive. And then the next glassworks place will go right here. <laughs> I might be doing this totally wrong. If you played the game before, feel free to correct me in the comments, as always. The next recipe we're going to work on is bottles. Okay, so now we just need to do a few things. We'll go into the sand collector, destination. And we'll make the destination our first glasswork and smelter. The, 12, the one that's 12 tiles away. We know that's cl closer to the factory there. There we go. So there, here's the one that's closer. That one's making glass now. And with that glass, we're going to go into here. Not here, sorry. We're going to go into this one and select a destination for our second factory which is the other glasswork factory. Now that factory is getting glass. 
Fabulous. And with that, we need to set the destination of bottles to head all the way to... Orchard? No. The distillery. Phew. Okay. So, that is how you produce one item <laughs> in, uh, in London. They need wine, and we are finally having them have their own wine. Something I forgot, though. We're, we can d produce wine all day long with this mass chaotic system we've set up. It's never going to get to London if we don't set the destination for the distillery, which we didn't do. The town center of London, bam, done. Now London has wine. The other thing we've done here is eventually London will have a surplus of wine, and if someone else needs it, we can start making some extra money because we're producing it in another city. So if I speed up time and I let this process go for a bit, I should start making money, making some sales, because now they're selling the bottles to make the wine, and you, you watch me do all that. You get it. So this has been my really quick first look lesson at how to actually play this game. Uh, as you can see, I haven't gotten a whole lot done. I really want to actually try now without getting taking myself out of the teacher role and actually just playing this game and seeing what I can do to get all of these cities working together. And uh, that, I don't know, that'd be something that really interests me. But it's up to you guys. If you want to see more of this video, I need to know. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe just for the hell of it if you like videos like this. And if you want to see more, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you do want to see more, the next video I will showcase the cities actually trading with each other. And we're going to try to set up more chaotic systems like this one we've set up in London so we can get everyone's needs met. Uh, there was also an option to do a bigger map, which means more cities, etc. But as, it's, as it turns out, uh, or as it stands right now, this game being an early, early alpha uh, is pretty fun. You can find them on Kickstarter and their website, and all that stuff is linked down below. You can play it yourself. You can teach me a thing or two in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'm just making a profit here. It looks like this negative number is slowly going up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yes, I look forward to playing more of this. If you want to see it, let me know. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.